in example B, we have a crazy situation. There are 14 angles up here. Now, out of the 14, four of them we know of, and they're actual measures. So that's what I wrote in blue. Where shall we begin? Where are the easiest angles to fill in? Okay, now maybe it's not clear to you, so let me explain. Two and three are vertical angles, meaning they're diagonal from each other. Vertical angles are congruent. So one, two, and three are both 90. And then we got one and four. They are vertical, but how do we get the number 90? Well, that's because of supplementary angles. What you see, I just traced that semicircle is an 180 degree angle. So if this blue is 90, then the unshaded portion is 180 minus 90. Okay, that's how we got angle one and four. Moving on, let's go to the right hand side now. How about over here? What's the easiest angle to figure out? W is equal to, and that's because of vertical angles again. W and Z are diagonal from each other. How do we determine then X and Y? Minus 180 minus 120. 180 minus 120 is what we're gonna do. This is an all this is supplementary angles in action. So W and X add to B. Okay, well X is 60, but the two angles add up to be 180. Okay, so W plus X equals 180. So to get what we didn't know, to get X, you subtract the two 180 and 120. And then by I mean by vertical angles, y is also 60 degrees, because they are di he's diagonal from x. True? True. True? True. True that. Okay. Now coming over here to the bottom section where we have six different angles. Okay. What can we fill in easily? C. C. D. Okay. What is C? D. C. Vertical angles. So therefore. F and C are both 75. What? F and C are 75 no. degrees angle. Okay, how about A and D? Okay, that's by vertical angles again, otra vez. The only two we don't know are B and E. B and E. So to figure out B and E, I'm going to just do a little tracing here. This angle that I'm highlighting is a complement meaning that if it can add with what I just highlighted here, from there to here is, comp is one angle. What should F and E add up to be? Angle F and angle E add up to be 90 degrees. Angle F was given as 75 degrees. So what we don't know is one of the angles so to figure out E, I subtract and I get 15 degrees on, on that side. Angle E is a 15 degree measure. So here we go, that's 15. Again, I just want to reiterate that you've got to know what a complementary angle is. Complementary means adds to be 90. So we knew this big guy, this is 75 in here. So what you didn't shade, the blank white section, we determined by subtraction. But if you have no clue, what complementary angles are you up a creek without a paddle? Okay, and then I'll just use vertical angles for B. That's 15 degrees as well. So in example B, we used everything. We use complementary, supplementary knowledge. We use vertical angles. The one thing I didn't mention here was adjacent. So yes, quickly did. tell, I did? Yeah. No, we didn't. Quickly tell your neighbor, what angles are adjacent to B? A, B, C. Alrighty. 